Hey there, folks. Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. For those of you that don't know me, I specialize in helping folks just like yourself, assuming you're in higher education, get the most out of that oftentimes confusing higher ed retirement plan. Typically, we're talking about the TIAA stuff. Okay, so a lot of you have done a great job. Send me emails. Uh, actually, they're um, points of topics of conversation I've had with my clients and for those that are onboarding as well. Uh, but very good out there. Very good. You're, you brought the fact that Comparing money markets to TI traditional, okay? So March 1st rolled around and for lack of a better term, just, just disrupted, interrupted, disrupted uh, some of your game plans. So what I mean by that is some of you were trying to do the 120 day restoration rule. I've been warning you that you're getting a little, little late to the party, late to the game, a lot of cliches I could use uh, and it kind of backfired. Is that the right word? Okay, so uh, 120 day restoration rule is when you take money from liquid accounts, folks. We're talking about liquid accounts and TI traditional. Take money from TI traditional, put it in something else, reintroduce it back to TI traditional, get that uh, rate at that time. Theoretically, it's going to be higher than what you took it out at, right? Well, March 1st rolled around, like I said, disrupted some things. What I mean by that, money markets, right? So money markets now are north of 5%. Most of you out there, higher ed institutions, you're looking at TIA's money market or Vanguard's money market for the most part. I know, there's, I know there's going to be others out there, but um, mostly speaking, this is not investment advice, folks. Do not construe it as such. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you information. So the money markets I've seen out there that you have access to are north of 5%. Those liquid TIAA traditional after March 1st, you know, they lowered the rate for new deposits going in and also for those current monies as well. I uh, wrote it down here, RCP, four and three quarters, new money going into TI traditional. SRA, GSRA, 4.5%, new money going in. That is lower than 5%. So a lot of you have brought up the point, should I be getting into the money market when it's north of 5%? That's obviously a higher number than uh, the new deposits going into TI traditional for the liquid accounts. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you all information. Five seems to be higher than four and a half, okay? Um, now, let's keep in mind, the money market is going to be variable. It's going to go up and down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Jerome Powell, head of, head, of, head of the FOMC, has already stated that he and the FOMC probably going to lower that rate this year two, three times. I don't think they even know. But regardless, when they do, the money market is going to be negatively impacted. You're going to see a, probably a lower rate on that money market going forward, right? Uh, so for those of you that are more interested in the lifetime income annuity options, do you really care that the traditional has gone down? we can have that discussion at a later point because you, the, longer, the longer you're in that TI traditional, the more you get rewarded on the back end when it comes to the lifetime income annuity option. So if that's, not, if that's not part of your game plan down the road, five is higher than four and a half. Okay, I think we all can do simple math there. Uh, that 120-day restoration will probably come in towards an end if it hasn't already come to an end. In my opinion, folks, in my opinion, every situation is different. But with the March 1st depreciation of those rates, um, it's, it's interrupted some of your all's game plans as to what to do. So, again, money markets uh, more could hold a sleeve of your portfolio. Folks, 5% north of 5% for, for money markets, uh, pretty good. But, again, that ain't going to last forever, right? Jerome Powell's going to lower that rate. You're going to see those money markets come down as well, most likely. That's typically how it works. Um, again, just, just some information here, food for thought. Uh, if you want to discuss your situation, by all means, my contact information should be below. Feel free to reach out to me, and we can do just that. All right, folks, Greg Shepard here. Hey, I've got my Jayhawks. For those of you that care about basketball, we're not going to go very far, I don't think, but we did win last night. We'll see what Gonzaga brings us, right? Okay. Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. Hey, go out and have a good one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.